Welcome to Lone Tar YouTube videos. Making a bootable USB RDX RD1000 device with Lone Tar for backups and disaster recovery. Part 3. Making the airbag boot image on the disk cartridge. First we'll go into LT menu. Then option number 6, utilities. And option number eight, system crash airbag menu. Answer no if you have a CD RRW record device. Since we're going to be using the RDX USB or RD1000 as our boot device, answer no to this. Option number two, image administrator. Option number five, create bootable USB hard drive or flash. So give you a warning saying the drive will get completely wiped out. Press enter. And it will list available devices. If you do not see your device, you may enter it in, but be very careful when doing that. In this case, slash dev slash sdb. Always answer yes to exclude this drive. We do not want airbag to format it during crash recovery. So answer yes. And it's going to give you one more option to, before you wipe out the drive, answer yes, y-e-s, not y. Answer, spell out yes. And it will begin formatting the partitions. An important note, some flavors of Linux fail the first time because of the NTFS file system when running FDisk. Uh, if it fails for the first time, if it says fails creating file systems, simply back, go back and try it again. Um, a lot of times it will go away. If not, call support. And remember in video part two, how we selected for the mount device to be slash dev slash sdb and we added the number three this is the reason why because airbag formats in the three partitions the first two are for airbag and the third is for the lone tar backup partition And if you do not see during this process of saying excluding drive SDB, stop the process and redo it again because this is very important to see excluding drive SDB or whatever the device name is for your USB, RDX, or RD1000 drive. Once it verifies the stored configurations, the last step is it will write the grub boot sector. 